Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to do a quick video talking about uh, my van back here, in particular the, the trim. Um, so I got this van used and I guess one of the disadvantages of that is that you basically get it as is. And one of the problems was if you notice down here, this piece of trim in front of the driver's side door is missing. So huh that's a little bit of an oddity so what i want to do today is talk about replacing this so obviously you can probably replace this by just going to the dealer in fact i did here's the part number that the dealer gave me and it gave me a quote for about 75 dollars to uh, to basically order a new part now you do a little bit of shopping online and you can find that part um, for about that price i think it's about 70 dollars ish now the only issue is let's come over here you can see here's the equivalent part on the passenger side and one thing I actually don't like about this trim is look on the passenger side how far out this thing sticks so it sticks a good few inches out which actually makes it slightly difficult to step onto the running board um, with this piece of trim in the way it, it really does stick out quite a ways in fact I'll show you one thing that um, is kind of an interesting oddity if you come back to the part that's in front of the sliding door right Look at this. They actually designed the trim on this side, on the sliding door, to actually come in so there's a little bit more room and it's a little easier to step onto the running board. Now, one problem with this is even with this design, look at this. This part is actually starting to kind of come off because I think exactly what ends up happening. I mean, I've done this many times, either on this piece of trim or on this one here on the passenger door is you're stepping in and out of the vehicle and you end up stepping and right here on this part of the trim which kind of knocks it off and as you can see one of the problems here is that this can potentially come off so the game plan for today is I'd like to talk a little bit about replacing this piece of trim but not just replacing it i kind of want to redesign it so that it is a little bit lower profile so i'm not going to have this issue when i'm constantly stepping in and out of the driver's side of the of the vehicle so the plan of attack is let's see if we can 3d print this part and replace it for a lot cheaper than 70 dollars. okay so uh why don't we jump over to the uh the printer all right, so I misspoke a little bit there. We're not actually gonna go into the printer yet. We're actually gonna go over here to Fusion 360, and this is actually where I designed the part and built it up. Uh, I find the Fusion 360 is actually a really good way to go about designing parts for the 3D printer. Um, if you're more interested in my workflow for using Fusion 360 to build these types of parts, feel free to check out this video right here where I discuss some of the tools that help me with this process. So anyway, long story short, this took me a little bit to design, but afterwards, I basically was able to bake, make this in Fusion 360 and then send it over to the printer. So with that being said, I think what we should do now is let's go ahead and print this to a G-code file and send it to the printer and see what we get. Um, all right, so here we are. Here's the the part, um, the first part of trim. And uh, as you can see, it looks pretty good. Now, that being said, this was an iterative process. Um, I didn't just design this in one shot and print it. In fact, <laughs> here's some of my iterations. I actually went through about 25 different versions, <laughs> right, of, you know, basically I had to go out there try to guess at the shape uh, or the profile that's going to fit on the the van go print it take it out there check it make a small change so long story short you know it took me a bunch of iterations to get the profile right and then i had to work on uh you know again slowly iterating and trying to get it so that it would match up with the profile just given the geometry was kind of difficult i had to also kind of match up some of these holes that are going to fit in the van so yeah long story short <laughs> Maybe $70 was something I should have just paid ahead of time. But anyway, I finally got this part, you know, after I think this is, yeah, this is literally version 26 or something like that. Um, so let's go take it out and see how it fits on the van. All right, so let's go ahead and see how it fits. I'm gonna put it on, line up the holes, and then get a hammer and kind of tap it in. There we go, pretty reasonable fit. So now all we gotta do is keep on working and uh, printing out some more parts that are going to extend this trim all the way to the front.
All right, so I guess we've got a similar story for these side trim parts, um, namely that there were many iterations to get it right. So sometimes I had to print smaller ones just to make sure I got the hole placement correct and then print a, a longer version, which I then, you know, for example, this part I discovered I actually printed too long. Um, so this is another throwaway part. So again, this is an iterative process, even with these, uh, these pieces with simpler geometry. All right, so there it is. You can see the trim is all installed and it's on. Um, and it's a little hard to see the rest of the trim because it's buried under all this snow, but um, take my word for it, it looks a lot better. It no longer looks like I'm missing parts of the side of the van. <laughs> um, so at first glance, you know, it's kind of hard to even see that this is an OEM. I mean, if you kind of come close and you look, you can kind of see there is a little bit of a mismatch in the contours and the color. I printed it in black PLA versus the kind of gray that the normal um, trim comes in, but oh well, I think that's totally fine. Um, most importantly, now, when I open the door and step on the running board, look at that, my toe doesn't catch the trim. So I can walk in and out, you know, uh, without knocking the trim off um, like I would on the passenger side. So I think this is pretty darn great. <laughs> uh, again, I didn't, never thought I would be able to 3D print parts for the car like this, but I guess you can. So again, um, as you can kind of see outside, it is uh, the dead of winter right now. <laughs> and there's like a foot of snow on the ground. So this thing is holding up quite well. I put a couple hundred miles on it. Um, it hasn't flown off uh, on the highway or anything like that. But I will be curious to see in the summer when it gets hotter, if this PLA is going to hold up. I mean, I might have to reprint this in PETG or some other material. But long story short, I'm pretty happy with it so far. And if there's any oddities or issues I will be sure to update you uh, in the future <laughs> all right so there you have it uh, 3d printing trim for your car um, I had a lot of fun doing this project but now uh, a couple of things to maybe consider if you think about this my printer is kind of small so I wasn't able to print this whole trim in one piece in fact it's five separate pieces that I had to um, design print fit make iterations if necessary or modifications and do it again um, and long story short if you look at it here is sort of a list of um, how many different parts I made, including how much it cost in terms of material and electricity and all that stuff, not to mention the amount of time it took me. So again, at the end of the day, I'm not so sure, so sure if I came out ahead economically, um, but it was a fun project and it has extra functionality in the sense that we saw that the trim is now lower profile, so you're not going to strike your foot on it as you get into and out of the vehicle. So overall, I'm glad I did this. Uh, I'm not sure if... Uh, uh, <laughs> I would do it again. <laughs> I might just purchase the, the trim and save myself a lot of time, money, and effort. But uh, like I said, uh, the journey is half uh, the fun, right? Not necessarily just how much money you spent on it. So with that being said, I think this is probably a great spot to leave it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. If you just scroll a little ways down on that YouTube page and click on that subscribe button, it really actually does help me continue making these videos. And speaking of the videos, remember new ones come out every Monday. So I hope I'll catch you at one of these future discussions discussions and we can all learn something new together. So until we meet again, I think I'm going to sign off for now. Talk to you later. Bye.